Hey, just a disclaimer before you watch this video, I'm a low elo gold scrub, so don't take this video seriously if that matters to you. Enjoy! As of patch 7.17, there are currently 138 champions in League of Legends, and all of them are pretty stupid in their own way. You have freelo champs, bad champs, easy champs, and, you know, they're just kind of all over the place, but... Right now, I'm going to talk about a personal favorite of mine, Miss Fortune, the Bounty Hunter. I love Miss Fortune. Her entire story is pretty cool in my opinion. She's fun to play, and also, statistically, she is within the higher win rates of ADCs. Miss Fortune has a pretty interesting kit. You have her passive, love tap, Q, double up, W, strut, E, make it rain, and an ultimate, bullet time. So now that we've made quick note of her skills, let's start with the reason I made this whole video. Her build. So the most common build for misfortune is full lethality, and personally I don't exactly enjoy building her that way. So my personal build, it starts with Duskblade. Her second item should be IE, and third, or at most fourth item, should be Last Whisper. Your fourth item could be Cleaver or a Luxury item. So you might ask, why not just build Full Lethality? And I think that Full Lethality just feels like an honest attempt to build an AD as an assassin. And you know, sometimes I just see an MF going as far as taking Thunderlord's Decree. And with the recent changes to Lethality, it's super reliant on you being a higher level than everyone else. So, if you're gonna get a lethality item, then why get Duskblade instead of Yomu's? Well, for one, you already have your passive movement speed from Strut. Also, the damage on Yomu's... Well... What, I what is this damage? Please explain. I don't understand. I mean, yes of course, with the change to Duskblade, you don't get the slow because Misfortune is ranged, but the damage is very worth it. Plus you get the lethality, which is pretty nice to have. So the major second item in this build is Infinity Edge, and why would you get it? Well, for one, when your Q double up kills a target, when it bounces to its second target, not only does it apply damage from Love Tap, but it also deals the bonus 50% crit damage from IE's passive. Also, against a single target, you can't reset love tap passive on anything else, and that little bit of extra damage with your auto attacks really does help. Also, her ultimate can crit, so the extra damage from crit really does help, and with only lethality, you don't get the chance to deal any of that damage. So your third item, or at most fourth item, should be a Last Whisper item. And you really need this item since you aren't building full lethality. The armor pen is completely necessary, especially against tanks, because you'll miss that significant damage without it. And also, it's just generally a good item on an ADC. So, you know, you'll probably want it. Make sure that against really high health targets that you get Lord Dominic's regards and against any amount of champions that can lifesteal a ton of their damage, make sure you get Mortal Reminder. As for your fourth item, generally Cleaver is a pretty good item to take. For one, it gives you a decent amount of health, you get your movement speed on auto for kiting or chasing, and it gives 20% CDR, which is very nice to have. As well as the Armor Shred passive, which synergizes very well with your ultimate. As for the Luxury items, you can either take Death Stance or Rapid Fire. And mainly you want to take Death Stance against Assassins, or just if you really don't want to get one shot by anybody. And it's very worth a rush if the Assassin is very, very fed. The extra CDR is fun, and the lifesteal really helps on any ADC so you don't die. And as well as my favorite Luxury item, Rapid Fire Cannon. For one, Rapid Fire Cannon gives you extra range, which really does help you in teamfights. And you can't get in range to auto the tank or something, I don't know. And, well, 
With your Q auto combo, you get both the rapid fire cannon bonus and the love tap bonus. So a couple things to note about how I play Misfortune is that, well, in lane, you really need to get your Q bounces into the enemy AD to chip them. The crit damage is huge. You really need to make sure that you ward so that you don't get ganked, or at least you do get ganked, but don't die. Maybe. You probably will die because your support is probably not going to be safe. Unless he's the one who put the ward and is paying attention to the map. So when you're trying to push a wave or just clear a wave in general, you just want to activate your W to get the attack speed and just to swap love taps on different minions. Don't really use your E and Q because it's kind of a waste of mana and you're just going to be needing it to reset W because it doesn't last too long. When you're fighting as a team, try to get off your Q auto Duskblade proc before ulting. You have to make sure that you position yourself wonderfully before you press the R key. And if you can ever manage to get a Q kill and bounce it off to someone else, that's going to do major damage. So, you know, a really important part about this is, well, how do you counter misfortune? And, you know, it's actually kind of simple. During laning phase, you don't want to stand behind any low minions because the Q will just bounce off of them and crit you. And, you know, just don't stand behind anyone that it can bounce off if you're low because it'll kill you. And, you know, just... just don't stand behind anything because it, it hurts, maybe. <laughs> a good champion to play into Misfortune is Sivir, because you just need to press the E key, Spell Shield. It just counters her Q and gets rid of it, and it's a pretty major part of her damage. So, you know, just Spell Shield, like, not, not, not like that, but, yeah, like, like that, and, and that. Yeah, and as well as just laning like that, during a fight, you just need to stop her ultimate. It is a channel, so she can cancel it at any time. You either need to make her run, or hope she cancels it like an idiot, or just kick her in the face like Quinn or something, I don't know. And just keep in mind that Misfortune is still an ADC. She will deal damage somehow in some way. Focusing her might not be first on the list, but do prioritize her. So, you know, regardless of all of the foolish things I've said, Misfortune is a champion that I thoroughly enjoy playing. So, you know, let's just see how I do.
All right, thank you guys for watching, and you know, if you disagree with anything I say at all, please tell me. I'd love to hear anything anyone would have to say. So you know, thank you very much, and I hope you watch the next video that comes out, if it does. Thank you. Alright, so I was browsing Reddit and I found this thing called MF main names. So it's a guy looking for a good MF main name for the US server. And you know, there's a couple cool ones like Hi, I'm Sarah, Queen Fortune, Two Fortune for You, Sarah Bot, Sarah Fortune, Captain Fortune, Two Huge Weapons, Mr. Fortune, Doubled Up, Unfortunate, From Sarah, With Love, Powder Monkey, Shock, and Awe. The Bounty Huntress, I Make It Rain. The Markswoman, Madam Fortune. I hate GP, I don't favor fools. Gun Blazer, I know what I'm doing. Don't get cocky. Uh, but you know, the, 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 the greatest one is, uh, the best name is already taken. Double D Sarah. <laughs> You'll have to go with a smaller size, I'm afraid. <laughs> or a bigger size. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Oh, Titson Churchill. That's, 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 that's glorious.